Do you feel like you don't speak enough Czech? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. Today, we'll learn conversational phrases about occupations. After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about your job and ask what somebody does for a living. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Co děláte? Jsem umělec. Listen to it again, now with the English translation. Co děláte? What do you do? Jsem umělec. I'm an artist. First of all, you need to learn how to say, what do you do? That's... Co děláte? Listen to it again. Co děláte? Co děláte? Now, how do you answer this question? This is the pattern you'll need. Jsem. Your occupation. I'm a, an, your occupation. For example, I'm an artist. Jsem umělec. Jsem umělec. Here are a few more professions you can use with the same pattern. Police officer. Policista. Policista. Policistka. Policistka. Teacher. Učitel. Učitel. Učitelka. Učitelka. Doctor. Lékař. Lékař. Lékařka. Lékařka. Engineer. Inženýr. Inženýr. Inženýrka. Inženýrka. Now, listen to some examples. Co děláte? Jsem učitel. Co děláte? Jsem lékař. Co děláte? Jsem inženýr. OK, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what do you do? Co děláte? Imagine you're a doctor. Do you remember how to say, doctor? Lékař. Lékař. Say, I'm a doctor. Jsem lékař. Now answer the question saying that you are a doctor. Co děláte? Jsem lékař. Now, imagine you're a teacher. Do you remember how to say teacher? Učitel. Učitel. Say, I'm a teacher. Jsem učitel. Now, answer the question saying that you are a teacher. Co děláte?
Isem Uchitel. Now, imagine you're an engineer. Do you remember how to say engineer? Engineer. Engineer. Say, I'm an engineer. Isem Engineer. Now, answer the question saying that you are an engineer. Co děláte? Isem Engineer. Well done! In this lesson, you learn new occupation-related vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life. You are now able to talk about your job like a native speaker. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, how's your mother? After watching this video, you'll be able to talk about well-being and ask how someone is doing. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí dobře. Once more with the English translation. Jak se má tvoje matka? How's your mother? Je jí dobře. She's fine. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how's your mother? That's... Jak se má tvoje matka? Listen to it again. Jak se má tvoje matka? Jak se má tvoje matka? This Czech sentence literally means, how does herself your mother? But it translates as, how is your mother in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is, je jí? State of well-being. This Czech sentence literally means is state of well-being. We omit the article she, but it translates as she is state of well-being. For example, she's fine. Je jí dobře. Je jí dobře. Here are a few expressions related to well-being that you can use with this pattern. Great. Skvěle. Skvěle. Fine. Dobře. Dobře. So-so. Jakž takž. Jakž takž. Not good. Špatně. Špatně. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí skvěle. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí jakš takš. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí špatně. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how's your mother? Jak se má tvoje matka? Imagine she's great. Do you remember how to say great? Skvěle. Skvěle. Say, she's great. Je jí skvěle. Now, answer the question saying she's great. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí skvěle. 
Now imagine she's so-so. Do you remember how to say so-so? Yakshtaksh. Yakshtaksh. Say, she's so-so. Yeyi yakshtaksh. Now, answer the question saying, she's so-so. Jak se má tvoje matka? Jeji jakš takš. Now imagine she's not good. Do you remember how to say not good? Špatně. Špatně. Say she's not good. Jeji špatně. Now, answer the question saying she's not good. Jak se má tvoje matka? Je jí špatně. In this lesson, you learn new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about well-being. You're now able to talk about how someone is feeling like a native speaker. Hey everyone, Alicia here. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's the matter? After watching this video, you'll be able to make complaints and ask someone else if they're having any issues. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je horko. Once more with the English translation. Je všechno v pořádku? What's the matter? V kanceláři je horko. The office is hot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's the matter? That's... Je všechno v pořádku? Listen to it again. Je... Všechno v pořádku? Je všechno v pořádku? This Czech sentence literally translates into Is everything all right? But it means What's the matter in English? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is V kanceláři je Adjective This Czech sentence literally translates into in the office is adjective, but it means the office is adjective in English. For example, the office is hot. V kanceláři je horko. V kanceláři je horko. Here are a few more examples you can use with the same pattern to make complaints. Hot. Horko. Horko. Cold. Zima. Zima. Noisy. Hluk. Hluk. Dirty. Spina. Spina. Now, if you're wondering how to remember these words forever so that you can start speaking more and more, here's how. 1. Review them with our spaced repetition flashcards. Our flashcards will drill these words into your long-term memory. 2. Save the words to our word bank, your personal collection of words, where you can print out physical study sheets. And 3. Watch our looped vocabulary slideshows on repeat until you understand every word. You'll find these tools inside our learning program. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je zima. Je všechno v pořádku? 
V kanceláři je hluk. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je špína. OK, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's the matter? Je všechno v pořádku? Imagine the office is cold. Do you remember how to say cold? Zima. Zima. Say, the office is cold. V kanceláři je zima. Now answer the question saying the office is cold. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je zima. Now imagine the office is noisy. Do you remember how to say noisy? Hluk. Hluk. Say, the office is noisy. V kanceláři je hluk. Now, answer the question saying the office is noisy. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je hluk. Now imagine the office is dirty. Do you remember how to say dirty? Špína. Špína. Say, the office is dirty. V kanceláři je špína. Now answer the question, saying the office is dirty. Je všechno v pořádku? V kanceláři je špína. In this lesson you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to make complaints. You are now able to share your concerns like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to ask and answer the question, how do you say this? After watching this video, you'll be able to ask someone how a word is pronounced. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Jak se to řekne? To je parkoviště. Once more with the English translation. Jak se to řekne? How do you say this? To je parkoviště. It's parking lot. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, how do you say this? That's... Jak se to řekne? Listen to it again. Jak se to řekne? Jak se to řekne? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... To je... Word. It's word. For example, it's parking lot. To je parkoviště. To je parkoviště. Here are a few useful words you can use with the same pattern. Parking lot. Parkoviště. Parkoviště. Giraffe. Girafa. Girafa. Travel. Cesta. Cesta. Invasion. Invaze. Invaze. Vaze. 
Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Jak se to řekne? To je žirafa. Jak se to řekne? To je cesta. Jak se to řekne? To je invaze. OK, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, how do you say this? Jak se to řekne? Imagine it's the word giraffe. Do you remember how to say giraffe? Girafa. Girafa. Say, it's giraffe. To je girafa. Now answer the question saying, it's giraffe. Jak se to řekne? To je girafa. Now imagine the word is travel. Do you remember how to say travel? Cesta. Cesta. Say, it's travel. To je cesta. Now, answer the question saying it's travel. Jak se to řekne? To je cesta. Now imagine the word is invasion. Do you remember how to say invasion? Invaze. Invaze. Say, it's invasion. To je invaze. Now answer the question saying, it's invasion. Jak se to řekne? To je invaze. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask someone how something is said. You are now able to ask how to say something like a native speaker. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, we'll learn conversational phrases to answer the question, what's your favorite number? After watching this video, you'll be able to say many numbers and ask someone their favorite number. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to sedm. Once more with the English translation. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? What's your favorite number? Je to sedm. It's seven. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, what's your favorite number? That's... Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Listen to it again. Jaké je... Tvoje oblíbené číslo. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Now, how do you answer this question? The pattern is... Je to... Number. It's number. For example, it's seven. Je to sedm. Je to sedm. Here are a few more numbers you can use with the same pattern. Seven. Sedm. Sedm. Two. Dva. Dva. Four. Čtyři. Čtyři. 
Nine. Deviat. Deviat. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to dva. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to čtyři. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to devět. OK, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, what's your favorite number? Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Imagine it's two. Do you remember how to say two? Dva. Dva. Say, it's two. Je to dva. Now answer the question saying, it's two. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to dva. Now imagine it's four. Do you remember how to say four? Čtyři. Čtyři. Say it's four. Je to čtyři. Now, answer the question by saying, it's four. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to čtyři. Now, imagine it's nine. Do you remember how to say nine? Devět. Devět. Say, it's nine. Je to devět. Now, answer the question saying, it's nine. Jaké je tvoje oblíbené číslo? Je to devět. In this lesson, you learned number-related phrases you can use in your everyday life to talk about numbers. You are now able to count like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Tell us your favorite number. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools.